Uh, well, to talk about this and England's prospects tomorrow. Let's speak to the Lioness and Arsenal star Beth Mead, who sadly isn't at the World Cup this year because of injury. So she is going through it like the rest of us, like a fan, Beth. Um, how are you looking forward to tomorrow morning? Kick off at 11, I believe. It is 11, yeah. I think I'm not enjoying the fun side of it, actually. I think I prefer to be playing on the pitch. But, uh, no, I'm excited for the game. I'm um, obviously in Australia quite well um, and some teammates over there. So it's going to be a tough game. Yeah, a tough game. And the prospect of says a lot of the other bigger teams have gone out. All bets seem to be off in terms of who would lift the trophy at the end of this week. And England have really embraced that, haven't they? How will they be feeling going into this one against the co-hosts tomorrow morning? Yeah, it's been a crazy tournament and crazy results. And, uh, yeah, I think, you know, England have took the games in the stride. They've played against a lot of different teams, but I have no doubt that they'll, you know, be very excited. I'm sure they're very prepared under Serena to play against Australia. And I have no doubt that hopefully they can do the job. Um, Beth, you were such a pivotal part of the Lionesses team that, that lifted the, the European... Uh, trophy last summer. Obviously, you're not with the squad uh, this summer for the World Cup, but presumably, you know, you're in touch with the girls because you're still all very much part of the same unit. You're all in this together. Have you been communicating with the girls uh, as they progressed? Yeah, I mean, I've spoke to a lot of the girls, you know, I'm still kind of a part of the team from afar and it's been tough, but, um, you know, the time difference doesn't help either, but... Yeah, the girls have kept in touch, um, you know, they're doing great. Um, I still, you know, feel like part of the family and I think they're doing great so far at the moment. Yeah, very much part of the family and you're out with a ruptured Achilles, is that right? How are you doing? Uh, ACL injury, um, my knee injury, but yeah, so far so good. i um, looking forward to the new season and hopefully we'll be getting going again. Uh, well, I hope none of those little rascals behind you have been giving you a tough time because uh -huh. you've got to look after yourself because we want you back from the Lionesses. Talk to me about the, the girls behind you because obviously the Lionesses have been inspiring girls and boys uh, for some time now and I know that you're really keen to keep this momentum going. Yeah, it's important that we, you know, keep, like you said, the momentum going. Um, you know, fun football sessions here with McDonald's are free, you know, for every ability. And the ability here today has been incredible, to be fair. But um, I think it's very hard to get into these sessions at the moment. I think they were 160% oversubscribed and, you know, more sessions have had to be put on, um, which is amazing. You know, the Lionesses are still inspiring these young boys and girls. And it's amazing that we can keep that, you know, projecting forward in the women's game. Yeah, the investment has to catch up with the popularity. I know that um, Alex Scott, the former England player, talks about the time when, you know, the England's women team were going around all the big stadiums, begging them to host England games for the women, and they were turned away by a lot of them. And now everybody's catching up. The girls, the women, the boys are all really invested in the game. So you almost need the, the investment and all of that to catch up with, with, the, with, with the movement. Yeah, it's moving forward quite rapidly, obviously, since last summer. And, you know, days like today um, helps the foundation and the grassroots aspect of making the next level of the women's game even bigger and even better. And, like I said, the quality on show today is pretty incredible. And that's because they've got the chance to be here at these fun football sessions. And may, long may it continue. And, yeah, worried for my position at Arsenal and England at the moment with all these young <laughs> ones coming through. Oh, well, looking at their age, they've got a bit of time, so you might be all right, Beth. You might be all right. You picked the younger age group I to might train have a with today. Bit of time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've just been hearing from my producer, breaking news. The Daily Telegraph in Australia has sent up a helicopter to spy on your girls uh, training ahead of this match tomorrow. I mean, that all plays into the England Australia rivalry, doesn't it? Um, you know, yeah. how, how are you seeing that rivalry? As I said, these are the co-hosts, so this is going to be massive for them, the expectation on their shoulders. Does that almost take a bit of pressure off the Lionesses? It does, and I, the fact that if they're putting helicopters above training means that they're worried, so it's not a bad thing for the England side. But, uh, you know, we've been there last year and played in front of a home, a home nation, and it, it does help. And... I think the Lionesses will know how that feels, but at the end of the day, if they bring the quality on the pitch, then they have nothing to worry about at all. Beth, will the girls be looking ahead to Spain in the final? Will they allow their, their thoughts to wander that far? 
I think knowing how professional they all are, we've got a job at hand tomorrow and I'm sure they'll be 100% focused on that and then after that they'll figure out the rest. <laughs> uh, well, Beth, you said you're not enjoying it as much as a fan as you would be on the pitch. Of course, it's a really nerve-wracking <laughs> time. How will you be watching the game tomorrow? I'm actually be in at training at Arsenal, so I think I'll be watching it with some of the Arsenal teammates, probably at the club. So, um, yeah, they'll have to keep me sane. Uh, try to watch through that game, because I'm not a very good spectator. <laughs> uh, well, do you know what? Neither am I. I'll be watching it behind the sofa if it gets that tense and goes to penalties again. Um, can I tempt you to a score prediction? Oof. I do think it'll be a close game. I'm, I'm going to say 2-1 England. Yes, perfect. OK, Beth, we'll take that. Uh, we'll catch up with you again to see if you're right. Beth Mead, thank you so much. Uh, one of the lionesses there. Thank and you. not out with the squad in Australia, but we wish you well recovering from your ACL injury.